Hello, hello, I am Morgan, the CEO, Chief Epic Sexy Life Officer of Epic Sexy You, and I just wanted to take uh, a few minutes, long-winded, so it might be a little bit longer than just a few, but bear with, um, just really wanted to share with you uh, my own Epic Sexy Life transformation to help you understand how Epic Sexy You got started and the transformation that's possible for you. Um, it's funny when people first meet me and they see how I show up as the who that I am today, they often tell me that later they were thinking like, who is this crazy lady? Like, what does she know about the struggles that I'm going through? And the truth is, is that I've been on my own journey. You know, five years ago, I was really a very unhappy being. And I don't even think I really consciously realized it. Um, I was a complete workaholic. I was incredibly indecisive. In fact, the very room that I'm sitting in right now, the color that's on the walls, um, I remember painting it and it took like a full day to paint it. And I had to call my girlfriend to come over and tell me if she liked it for me to decide if I liked it. WTF. Anyways, so I was incredibly indecisive, as you can tell from that story. And I smoked like a chimney. I drank a lot of alcohol to self-soothe and numb. Probably my craziness. And um, I mean, I always remember looking for validation externally. And that was actually the reason that I was so incredibly successful in my career. And yet at the same time, it was the reason that I was so unfulfilled with life. I was always trying to prove something like prove that I was worth something because unbeknown to myself at the time, deep down, I didn't truly believe that I was lovable. So in pursuit of perfection, it led me to hope that eventually I could be worthy. I have wasted a lot of time in my life and there were so many times where I really wanted to do something but I didn't because I was really consumed in, in thinking, what are others going to think about this? And I always had a list of certain people, right? That I was like, well, what is this person going to think? And what are they going to say? And I remember spending a lot of time pretending to be okay in different situations and circumstances where I wasn't okay. And I remember doing a lot of things that I didn't want to do all because I wanted to make everyone else happy. I wasted time living life to everyone else's expectations and trying to fulfill everyone else's standards for who I should be and how I should live. And there were so many times where others would tell me their perceived limitations and their fears of a situation where it was my dream, right? And like, I let that hold me back from pursuing my dreams. I didn't trust myself. I had no connection with my intuition and I had totally lost my voice. And when that happens, it's so hard to give a shit about the things that you actually want to give a shit about, right? Like being the best version of you and finding your passion and your calling and your purpose. And more importantly than anything else, like finding things that make you feel alive, right? Like living alive. Um, I remember one day about five years ago, I hadn't taken vacation in over four years without taking work with me. I know. And I was so burnt out. And it was like one day I just woke up and I realized that like, man, the past four years of my life just went by in the blink of an eye. And I remember thinking, ugh, I'm done. Like, I'm done waiting to live. Like, I'm going to start living right now. I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I had had enough of living for everyone else. And I was just ready to do me. Like, fuck it. I'm going to do me. And in the past couple of years, because of those uh, awakenings that stirred within me that day, you know, I've gone on my own journey and I've lost 35 pounds and I quit smoking and I quit drinking and I quit the corporate world and I found 
healthy coping mechanisms. I started my own business working for myself. I broke the hamster wheel of hell in the cycle of dating the same guy over and over and over and over again, like literally 10 years of dating the same type of guy over and over and over. And I replaced old doubts with a newfound epic sexy confidence. And truth be told, I am the happiest that I have ever been in my entire life. And I'm the healthiest that I have ever been in my entire life. And even when I look back at pictures of me um, over the years where I was really pretty and really lean, um, where now I'm like, wow, I was so pretty and sexy, I, I didn't feel it really until now. This is the first time ever in my entire life where like, I feel really sexy and I feel really comfortable in my own skin and like, oh, it's just such a wonderful feeling, right? Like to own that shit like a boss. 